Thank you guys for tuning in again. Let's just dive in again for this new part. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I put my bass in, like whether it's 808 or just uh, just a synth bass. So I'm gonna start with like uh, with an 808. Same process. I'm here, right? Um, I'm still on my drum pad. What I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna I'm gonna open browse so you can see what I'm doing. I'm changing bank. So I'm going back to an empty bank. So I wanna I wanna load something on this bank. But before doing so, I'm gonna go on browse and try to find what I'm trying to load. Okay. So I'm just gonna go uh, back here. I'm on 808 here. I'm on inside. Let me see. So uh, I don't know if you realize why. Well, whenever I was just hitting play here, I had to hold it. Technically, you can just do audition and just hit auto, and then whenever you move now, you just play. See, I don't have to hold it anymore, so I can just be like. So I'm just gonna go with. I'm gonna play this song and try to find the 808 which fits properly. Kind of like this. So I'm just gonna load this. It's loaded. So I'm going back to sample and assign. It's already loaded on it because I already chose the uh, sample I was trying to load it on. Okay, so now I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go back to main. I'm still on my drum. Okay, I have multiple ways to play my 808. I can either do 16 level. Okay, and then instead of doing velocity here, I can just do tune and then hit close and then see it changes. And I can be like. That's one way, but this is not the way I'm looking for. So I'm just, and one thing about this way, I'm just gonna record so, so that you understand. When you do overdub and you sit, hit, record. Okay, I hit different, I hit different pad, right? Let me go on grid, you will see what happened. This is what I hit. Everything stayed on the same pad. I don't know if you guys see what I mean. That's not, I mean, it's, it's a good way, I mean, some people might like that way of doing things, but I don't like it. I prefer to see what I'm doing so that I can I can go after and fine tune it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna clear this. Instead of clearing like this, I'm gonna show you the other way of clearing stuff. Okay, I'm on track three. I'm just gonna do here, and then I can just do clear. Boom, clear. If I go back to uh uh grid, it's empty. Okay, that's another way of cleaning. You can uh, on MPC one, you can also hit erase here, and that will clear it off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is like uh, what I wanted to do is I'm going back to my browse, so I'm going back on bank B. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is like I go on program edit here. It shows me all this stuff. Like I can go on sample. I just want to make sure my my 808 is in key. So currently this 808 is in E. I want it to be in C. There we go. Now it's in C is in key and when you hit this it creates uh, a key group which makes you which transform this sample as like like uh, a piano like you can play each different note and see what you're doing and then change it up so i'm just gonna hit this boom so that's done see it moved from a drum to this which is the key group so now i have a okay now i have my 808 and i have my i can put it on my scale mode now my scale mode is back Instead of leaving my scale mode on chord, this I'm just gonna hit note. And then another thing I like to do on the 808 is that I go to program edit, I change it, uh, I go on global, I change it from polyphonic to mono, so that whenever I hit uh, two 808 at the same time, it doesn't hit trigger the same, the both together. But if it was in poly, it's not too great. So I put it on mono, I go back here. Now I'm gonna try to find. Uh, Find my 808 pattern. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm not going crazy. I'm just trying to teach you how to use this stuff. I'm not going crazy into the production. Let's just record this. Easy. And now the difference between this way of making the 808 and the 16 level, look, look at it. Whenever I go to the grid, you will understand now. Just gonna pinch, pinch it. See, I can see everything I played. And then if I wanna tweak it, like 
let's say I want to move this down or this up, I can do it easy. I can move it like easy, which is the, which is the great, great stuff, which is the main reason why I like doing my 808 like that. So like. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you tomorrow for the next part.